Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop, my name is Blake. Today we're going to get started with some news pod stories. Nothing really earth shattering, but this is an interesting interview of Swiss Pod, so let's give it a listen. Welcome to episode 184 of the Startup Show. Today I am meeting with the CEO and co-founder of SwissBot, Dennis, and we are talking about the EPFL and the Hyperloop team. We're talking about SwissPod and, and how EPFL they are actually is no longer developing going to go to the, the last couple of SpaceX months and the upcoming months. And last but not least, we are talking about how Dennis met with the legendary Elon Musk and talked to him. Uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned anyway, for the video. I would really recommend you check out this uh, news pod and we'll put a link to this uh, interview in the description. So um, next is a interesting article from Lima, Ohio, the holy grail of transportation, Ohio officials dream of high speed possibilities. And I pointed out that they're using a heart hyperloop image and um, heart hyperloop is not currently going after Ohio right now. So read this news article. I think it's one of the best actually um, in explaining the different players, the different routes, Hyperloop TT versus Virgin Hyperloop 1. Yeah, it you know kind of gets really into the heart of why Ohio is such a leading Hyperloop uh, uh, city and you know or uh, state and region. So yeah, definitely take a look of that article. Um, next, this interesting um, article that gets more into the um, Pennsylvania part, right before Ohio, of how twist turns, bridges, tunnels, and uh, complete Western Hyperloop projects. So, like, really interesting. It gets into saying, you know, our region is actually really hilly. Um, can the Hyperloop pod go up and down <laughs> the hills? Um, how many tunnels are you going to need? Um, and Ryan Kelly, Virgin Hyperloop 1. Uh, says that tunneling would be a very costly thing. If we can avoid tunneling, the better. Um, however, for Hyperloop, it can go uphill more than traditional rail or high speed. Um, Transpod, definitely getting still in the thick of things and generating news about uh, different projects in Canada. Uh, of course, the Montreal Toronto project that hasn't really uh, developed, but then also Edmonton to Calgary in the West. Um, so it's really interesting to see Transpod responding to uh, different tweets. Yeah, this article, the Alberta government isn't science fiction, or sorry, Alberta Hyperloop isn't science fiction, urges government to climb aboard. I would definitely let you take a read at this. This is from the National uh, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. You know, and they say next week, so that's going to come up really soon. Um, and it's gonna be really fascinating to see what the updated uh, proposition. Um, there was a feasibility done for this corridor by Transpod a long time ago, and um, now they're going to maybe refine it or scale it or maybe do test tracks, you know, for the Alberta um, Edmonton corridor. So that's really exciting. Um, moving to SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition teams, we still haven't heard from Elon Musk or the Hyperloop pod competition website or anything, but uh, the university teams are still working. Badger Loop, I mean, Alex, our propulsion team lead. And it's really interesting how they list, you know, goals for Badger Loop to create a propulsion system that builds upon previous successes and learns from our failures. Yeah, I think I really like these um, kind of, you know, brief synopsis of the team members. Um, Michigan Hyperloop, today is the giving day. So take a look at M Hyperloop online and um, donate to their project and uh, try to support them today um, because it's the donor day. Um, so good luck to Michigan Hyperloop and they have a new website, michiganhyperloop.com. Uh, give today. So, and they're doing a really good job being out in the community and talking about the team. So next, Spartan Hyperloop. I found this really interesting. We don't often see many photographs or many informa much information about you know, what advisors to the Hyperloop pod competition teams do. A lot of the you know, team members get a lot of credit a lot of the universities get credit, but then you need that connection between the team members and the university, and that's what an advisor does. Michael Vol explains the Hyperloop team, you know, the skills needed to build a Hyperloop pod. So it's, you know, really interesting. It would be really fascinating to hear what they were going over. If uh, you're one of these advisors at universities, um, we would be happy to do an interview with you just to kind of get a background. Um, I know these advisors are sometimes the point of contact between SpaceX advisors. 
um, when they're when a hyper college team is assigned a SpaceX advisor. So um, will be interesting to see that. I found this interesting. Former SpaceX pod competition team Tomb Hyperloop, who is now spinning out to be their own um, Hyperloop uh, company, they released this. Um, do you know how many sensors our pod 4 has? We used around 50 sensors that help us detect temperature, position, and movement. A uh, portfolio um, of our sponsor, Henselt Pioneers, includes various sensor technologies which, when combined, allow detection capabilities to be improved substantially. Um, we want to thank uh, Henselt for this year's support and we look forward to possible future collaborations. So that's interesting, yeah. We haven't heard any further news about what's going on with Tomb Hyperloop. Finally, Gator Loop is working really hard. Um, welcome back, Gators. We hope you everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. Um, think how much easier um, it would be traveling home for the holidays with a Hyperloop system. So that's so funny. That's so true. Um, so yeah, good luck, Gator Loop, in getting everything ready for this next uh, SpaceX pod competition. Hopefully we hear stuff soon. We're holding our breath and crossing our fingers. Stay in the loop. Let us know what you think and have a nice day.